Hello and welcome to Autodesk Design Academy. In this fourth module we will be talking about contact types used between parts of assemblies in simulation models. We will specifically present an overview of the different contact types that you can specify between components, a discussion of bonded versus surface contact, which are the two most commonly used types of contact in finite element analyses, and the mapping of contact type names between Autodesk Simulation Mechanical and Autodesk Inventor. In order to analyze an assembly correctly, you need to define the contact types between the different components. For example, this assembly consists of a yoke or connecting rod and two pins, one larger and one smaller in diameter. To correctly model the behavior of this assembly, the pins should be able to rotate within the holes of the yoke. As the pins and yoke deform under load, the surfaces of the pins and yoke should be free to separate from each other locally. However, neither pin should be able to penetrate through the surfaces of the holes. For example, this illustration demonstrates how the surface of a pin can separate from the surface of the hole through which it's inserted. The red arrows represent the applied force, the blue arrows the contact forces, and the green ellipses the area of separation. Notice how the contact force becomes more localized near the outer edges of the hole and the interior surface becomes unloaded. In addition, contact can occur near the center of the opposite side of the joint. In bonded contact, this separation could not occur and your analysis model would exaggerate the stiffness of the assembly. That is, displacements and stresses would be underestimated. The default contact type in Autodesk Simulation Mechanical is bonded, in which the surfaces are glued together. In order to get the desired behavior in this assembly, we will have to define a different type of contact. To create the required contact pairs, in the browser at the left side of the screen, select Part 1, the yoke, while holding down the control key, also select Part 2, the large pin. Right-click and access the Contact Flyout menu. Here we see the available choices for linear static stress analyses. Choose Surface Contact to allow the surfaces to freely slide and separate while preventing penetration. At the bottom of the browser, a new entry has been added to the contact branch. You can specify a custom name for the contact pair. Here we will type Yoke to Large Pin and press Enter. Note that if you hit Enter without typing a name, a default name, identifying the involved part and surface numbers, is assigned to the pair. Repeat the same procedure for Part 1 and Part 3, the small pin. This time we will name the contact pair Yoke to Small Pin. Here is a mapping of the contact type names between Autodesk Simulation Mechanical and Autodesk Inventor. For six of the ten types listed, there is a direct correlation between the contact type names used in the two programs, except that surface contact is called separation contact in Inventor. Welded contact in Simulation Mechanical bonds only the perimeter of a surface to the adjacent part, simulating the behavior when a perimeter weld bead connects the two parts. There is no equivalent contact type in Inventor. However, you can suppress automatically generated contact between two surfaces and define explicit contact pairs between only the edges of one surface and the adjacent surface to produce the same effect in Inventor. There is also no equivalent in Inventor for the free no contact type, which can override a default contact condition for specific pairs. To achieve the same effect in Inventor, automatically detect contact pairs but then suppress the contact pair between the parts or surfaces that you do not want to interact. Both programs support sliding contact without separation, sometimes referred to as sticky or no-bounce contact, and separation without sliding, sometimes referred to as rough contact. In addition, both programs support shrink-fit contact with or without sliding allowed. This type of contact captures the interference forces between parts mated with a shrink-fit condition, where the shaft diameter initially is greater than the hole diameter. Finally, Inventor provides spring contact where you specify the spring stiffness acting between the two parts. 
Simulation mechanical does not directly support this type of contact. However, you can achieve a similar effect by manually creating gap, contact, or spring line elements between two parts. Specify the appropriate stiffness, taking into account the number of line elements involved in the connection. However, this is a somewhat advanced task. If you plan on importing inventor simulation models into simulation mechanical, you will need to limit your contact definitions to those that are supported in both programs. Otherwise, you can recreate the contact definitions within Simulation Mechanical. In summary, we have seen an overview of the contact types that you can specify between components. We've discussed the differences between bonded and surface contact, and we've looked at the mapping of contact type names between Autodesk Simulation Mechanical and Autodesk Inventor. Finally, this video demonstrated how to define a contact type between two components in Autodesk Simulation Mechanical. Thank you for watching.